Oh, damn, it's recording. Okay, so you guys obviously came back for part two. Now, this is what roughly it's going to look like. Probably not as good, but, you know, I'm going to have some, I'm gonna show some hope and some compassion. Maybe it'll be better. I don't know. Now, we're going to go ahead and... The, I'm just going to hide these because I already did it. Now, we're going to go ahead and start on this layer above the background. Don't just don't don't worry about that. Um, this is going to be the first layer. We're going to use this guy. Boom! See, this is called a Cinema 4D. It's really cool. I love these things. They come in handy. And just press V. And you know when you drag it in, you just drag it into Photoshop to open it up. Don't do anything special. Now we're gonna drag it over to here and put it behind him. Now see how that kind of adds something. We want the center. See, here's the center. We want that to be behind him, so he's the center. He's the focal point of this signature. Now we want to go ahead and press. You know, maybe I'm gonna put it on soft light. I did that in the last one, and then maybe lower the opacity just a little bit, so it's not so bright. And then b above this layer, we're gonna bring in this one here. I'll post both of these, I guess. I'll upload them. I don't know who made them. I did not make these. I do not take credit for these at all. If you, you if you made it, you know who you are, and I give credit to you, even though I don't know who you are. Anyway, we're gonna press V. We're gonna drag it over into Untitled. This is our area here. And we're gonna need to lower the size on this. So go ahead and press Control T. That's going to command it, uh, uh, transform it. Hold, uh, press and hold Shift, and then drag them down. And then click here and drag it back up. And then that's going to add a little bit more flow into the back. Go ahead and hit Enter. And, you know, put it on soft light. And then, you know, sorry, and then lower the opacity just a little bit, I guess. Hold on. And then we're, we're going to, you know, play with this a little bit more. Uh, see, see, it looks pretty good. Um, we're going to go ahead and play with this. I'm just repeating myself. I lost my train of thought. Okay. All right, here it is. Okay, so now, now that that's done, we're going to want to go up above this guy. We're going to, you know, add another one of him. And we're going to do some more smudging, only this time, we're not going to hide this top layer. We're going to drag him down to here. This is just to get more of his color into this signature. And then just click and drag with the same settings as before. And then we're just going to smudge it up. You know, maybe get some going towards him. We want some co towards him, so we can get some more of his color. By the time we're done with this, nobody's going to know what the hell it was. We're just going to see some more element of it. Now, that's looking pretty good. So, we're going to set that on, I guess, soft light. It's gonna, it makes it look pretty good, so it adds a little extra. Now, I'm going to show you one of my favorite techniques. I learned this so long ago. I don't even remember who made the signature tutorial. But it helped me so much in adding a little bit of more color and flavor. Get get yourself a soft brush. About 100 pixels will do for this size if you're using the same size as me. If you're not, you're a noob. Now, get a, a good green. We'll start out with green, I guess. And put one up here. Bam. Right there. And you're like, whoa, you do green. No, shut up. Say it with me. Shut up. Very good. I heard you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I heard you. You said it again. Okay. Now we put one up here and then down here, just randomly. Only do two of each. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with it. Most of each. We're gonna do pink, purple, green, red, blue. We're gonna do some of the blue from there. Maybe some orange. And then, you know, it'll look good. I'll put some blue maybe up here too. And then get the orange from like uh, like his hair. And add some of that in. Maybe right by his head. And then, you know, 
uh, now now that that's done you do that on a new layer by the way I, I did by the grace of God I remembered to do a new layer I don't, and I don't have to undo all that now let's go to blur and then Gaussian blur you may not pronounce it that way but you're a noob so what do I expect maybe lower the opacity to get more some more of the color coming through or the radius sorry I'm not paying attention um, now we'll put this on soft light soft light is a really good setting for bringing out colors <coughs> and the such now see that looks pretty cool it looks really cool so far now we're gonna do one more thing we're gonna go ahead and, and maybe add a a blur around him to add more depth and then we'll sharpen him so to start out what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer and then press on your keyboard control alt shift and E I know that's a lot of buttons to remember but just do it control, control alt shift and E and that'll apply the image alternatively you can go to image and find a apply image there it is right there apply image if you don't want to mem memorize the con the hotkey but I do because I'm, I'm elite now go to where the smudge tool is see it was already selected on blur tool before you want that now maybe zoom in probably 300 times I guess and you'll get something like this so you can really work on not blurring your um, your your dude here the render now blur around him really careful not to get onto him at all and make sure you blur the whole outside around there you're like whoa you're getting rid of all that really cool stuff I added like like I've said this time and many times before that shut up you don't know what you're talking about now blur on this side too try not to get too much onto him and you know make sure you get the whole side here too <clears throat> so now we've got that and that brings out more focus on him now we'll go back down I guess to 100 zoom just click down here and type it now we're going to see, see it looks pretty cool now looks pretty cool so next step is to go ahead and make a new another new layer and control shift E again to apply the image or go up into Im to image apply image and we're going to go to filter sharpen and sharpen and then sharpen now see it adds more to him and we're going to go ahead and zoom in again to 300 about if you're using the same size as me it works pretty good and get a, your eraser tool and erase around him because we only want him to be sharpened it's going to bring out him and him only it's going to be a pretty cool look, effect so go ahead and get, get rid of all that sharpen around him so it's still blurred around him and then you know go ahead and make another new layer and then on this one I guess we'll do something like uh, we don't even need, need that new layer, but we'll go ahead and keep it anyway. Now we're going to go to this little guy here, and we're going to go to Gradient Map, and then we'll, we'll select Black to White. You're like, whoa, that looks pretty cool itself. Just leave it. Leave it. Bad. And, and you know, you could leave it and then just... Oh, yeah, I don't know why it won't erase on mine, but you could just do something with that make it just black and white or you could do what I'm gonna do go to f f uh, this little guy here that's the layer style soft light I know I love soft light and then turn the, opa the opacity down to 30 you can just type in 30 there and then <clears throat> see it does add a change just a little bit it brings out the shadows and the highlights and then we'll, we'll do new, another one another gradient map here only this time we're gonna do this this uh, purpley blue to orange one, and then go to put that on soft light too, and then put it at 30 as well. And then see it does add it adds a little bit more color into it, a little more intensity. I mean that looks pretty cool. You have to admit that it's got nice flow. Now for the text, uh, it's getting pretty long, so I'm just gonna wrap this up here. Just add some text. Doesn't matter. 
what color, just type in your name. It's always good to do that so nobody can rip it if it's good enough for somebody who wants to rip. Put it somewhere in here, and then maybe add a border. A border is easy. Make a new layer. Get your little rectangular marquee. Select the whole thing. Just click up here somewhere and drag down to here somewhere. S select, modify, border. I'm going pretty fast. Make sure it's two pixels, otherwise you'll end up with a mess up. Shift F5, <clears throat> and we'll, we'll do a white border for this. And then just deselect it and then save it. Always save as PNG. I'm going to enforce that. If I see your outcomes and they're not in PNG, I'm going to kill you. Well, maybe not kill you, but, you know, I'll, I'll do something. So that's pretty good right there. Now that's it. Bye.